I'm in the middle of framing the walls for the master bedroom addition, and since this is a bedroom, I need to think about egress windows. An egress window is basically a window that, um, to code, is big enough for someone to get in and out of the room. And code says that bedrooms have to have two means of egress. So one of those, of course, is going to be the door. And the other one can either be a second door or a window. And if you're going to use a window as that second means of egress, then the code specifies that the opening, when the window is fully open, has to be a certain size and a certain distance off the ground and so forth. And it's a little tricky because the opening is not the size of the window or the size of the rough opening. It is that space that the window provides when the window is open that someone has to crawl in and out. And depending on the style of window, it may be much smaller than the actual size of the window. Fortunately, the window manufacturers make it pretty easy. So if you look at the specs for the windows you're planning to use, it should help you out with that. So this is a, this is a spec sheet for Anderson single hung windows and if you look down here at the fine print you probably can't really see that but it's got a little diamond symbol there and it says that sizes with this diamond meet or exceed clear opening of 5.7 square feet blah 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 meaning there uh, they can be used as egress windows so then if you go up here to the size chart you can just look for windows that have that diamond and those will work uh, and will pass code uh, for a second means of egress so this one doesn't have the diamond it's too small uh, this one has the diamond there I don't know if you can see that so that means this window will meet code as a second means of egress and for single hand windows, you got to have a pretty big window to meet that opening. Even though the opening only has to be 24 inches high, the minimum single hung window that will meet that is 5 feet high. So that's a pretty big window. But you have some other options. There are other styles of windows. Um, I'm going to have three kinds of windows in this house. Single hung and awning and casement. So let's look at awning windows. It doesn't have that little blurb and none of the windows have the diamonds. So there is no Anderson awning window that is big enough uh, to provide the opening required for a means of egress. So can't use those for that purpose. We're gonna have some of those, but they won't be for that purpose. So now let's look at casement windows. So casement windows, since they are hinged like a door, the whole window opens, so they are much more uh, accommodating for this purpose. So if you look at the chart here, the smallest casement window that can be used as an egress window is two and a half by four. So that's pretty small. So that's a good option where you can't don't have room for a big window, and uh, you wanna and you're building a bedroom. So. For this particular room, I've got a couple of options, and I went ahead and framed this window on the south wall here uh, for a three foot by four foot window, three feet wide, four feet high. And so I can put a casement in there, and that can be a legal egress window, and that would be all I need for this room. There's gonna be another exterior wall on the west side here. So I could put a single hung in here, which would not be an egress window, and then put a bigger single hung or a casement on the end. So I'll decide that later, but right now uh, I've got an option here that will work. So I'll do a video on the framing process 
now that I've gotten that figured out and gotten this wall framed I'm gonna get it sheathed and raised up and then I've got a bunch of other walls to frame so I'll see if I can record some of those and I'll see you then